Ayo, that's Tyron on the beat. Five minutes. It's nothing like the last trip. This hotel is definitely smaller, but it's in a great location. Smack dead in the middle of the city. Lille is one of my favorite cities to travel to. Uh, I think we got like a couple of minutes. Just got to the hotel, about to go right back down. Shoot around. I know it's the stuff you saw sound kind of crazy, but I'm making it through, man. I'm out. Lexi lost. He gets plugged behind the air today. Yo. It's like two in the morning. I was looking for my phone. I guess I can show y'all on my watch. Oh yeah. My watch is 1 30 in the morning. I can't sleep. My nose is like feel like it's swollen. Sinus is bad. I have a huge amount of air going through my chest. That's my chest is hurting. I cannot turn my neck. My neck is stiff. This is one of the scariest games of the year for me because I'm about to force it, but I'm not a hundred percent. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm really low on the percentage of player I can put out tomorrow. My legs are a little bit weak. You know, the practice schedule been killing me. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this game tomorrow. And I'm never nervous about anything, but it's just I cannot really even move my neck. I can't breathe. And, you know, I, I just shoot around the day and I can feel the air just hit my chest. And even at night tonight, it still hit my chest. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm about to go downstairs, see if they got something I can take or do. Because this is tough. I was just going to go straight to sleep when I came in because I felt so bad. But I ended up, I can't sleep. So I'm staying up till 1.30. And I normally be at sleep by 12, 11.45. It's a tough game. It's going to be a tough game for me. But I'm really from Louisiana, man. I, I say that in a, in a jokingly way sometimes. But this one of the, the, the special things about sports and life is, like, seeing what you can push yourself to. Like, I feel terrible. But I can't let my team down. I don't let them down too long. I miss too many games. By any means, I'm going to find a way to get through this. All we need is a W. I don't care about my stats. All we need is a W so that we can get closer to finishing the season in first place. That's the only met metric of success for me. I'm about to go downstairs, see if I can find something. I'm going to go to sleep. Try to go to sleep. See y'all tomorrow. It's a rainy day, rainy afternoon, and I'm stuffy. <laughs> Still feel like shit. Walking to the game. I don't know, man. I just finished watching about two hours of Kobe and Kevin Durant highlights. <laughs> I just want to score tonight. But for the most part, doing what I got to do to get the W.
But I just realized that Kobe averaged 28 points a game at 33 years old. You know one thing that bothers me about pro sports is that people start looking at production at a certain point and start looking at people's ages. The amount of time people tell me I'm old drives me crazy. I don't like it. It's like, look at my stats, bro. Look at my winning percentage, bro. What the hell does me being 33 got to do something to be old? Because you guys have made this standard that 22 through 30 is the prime ages of a player. But I'm getting better each year, the older I get. Y'all gonna see though. On my way to this game, see how it turned out. Let's get it. Ferguson, we lost. Both teams played terrible. Well, both teams missed a lot of shots, I shall say. The score was like, I think it was 68-57. It was closer than it really was. But we scored 57 points, and they scored 68 points. Like nobody could have made shots in that gym. The rims are ridiculous. Like, the rims were so tight. It's like, I mean, it was like super hard. Like you had to make all switches to make a shot. And I just don't understand, you know, this is one of the best leagues in the world. And gym by gym, you have different rims. So you constantly gotta adjust your shot all the time. It just makes no sense, but we missed so many open shots. I think I was five for 17. It's one of the worst games I've played in my career. Never shot that bad. Um, and it was a bunch of easy, easy shots, a bunch of very simple shots. You know, the degree of difficulty, I was open a lot. And I just was missing them. And that's just not normal. But, a little advice. Whenever you have a tough game like I had tonight, you rely on the work. I put in so much work, you know, I make, I make those shots that I missed tonight hundreds of times per week. So I'm not frustrated and I haven't lost any confidence because I've put in the work. And tonight, it just didn't fall. That comes with the game. Um, I felt good, my shot felt good, and I'm back in the gym next week. Got another game Tuesday and I'm back to it. So you take anything from this video, take bad games is evident. You're human. Um, you're not gonna win every game. You're not gonna play great every game. Whenever you put the work in, you don't have nothing to worry about. All right? Please like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all next time.